measuring, cutting out, drilling and tapping so far. And you know, we, we're really making progress here now. Now we've seen it all come together. So what I've done is I've assembled, manufactured these parts. Uh, this is a bearing um, support for the Y axis and obviously the upright for the the, the gantry. So this is bolted again, this is bolted on square now to the gantry itself and uh, I'm just about to bolt the bearing blocks onto the bearing carrier or whatever you want to call it. Of course these are 5mm uh, extended little bolts, that's really all you, you need. I mean, there's, there's uh, eight per side, so 16 of these hold the gantry on, which is fine. So what I'm going to do, or what I'm actually doing, is I'm using the bearings and the gantry itself to line this up square on the top of the rail here, uh, so then I can drill and tap these in you know the, the exact position that they need to be um, and then when I've screwed this one down firm and ensured that this is 90 degrees to this rail then I can assemble the other side and do the same assembly process on the other side okay and i can move the gantry on this bearing all the way up to this end tighten a couple down and move it all the way down the other end and tighten a couple down over there and so on and so forth until you know this is exactly parallel with the y-axis and you know this is exactly 90 degrees that's what you're after so uh I shall continue here for a bit. Okay, so I've drilled and tapped the hole here, so I've got an anchor point and I've tightened this one up. So now let's uh, just see if we can get some sort of accurate measurement off here. I'm going to call that 15.5. Um, okay, so I'll check what the other end is, I suppose. Um, just so I don't move it. Because even though this is very stiff, uh, I can actually you know, bend it slightly, which is going to muck the reading up. So let's have a look see what we've got here. Well, I can tell straight away it's over that way too much, I think. Not much, but... I'll take it over one and a half millimetre. Just see what happens. So I need to put a register mark on here. So I've got a reference to know how far it's gone over. I'm going to do this to bump it over just a little bit. That should be it, I think. Ooh. Go 
15.29. Okay, I've got it down to 0.2 of a millimeter. You know, the surface of this RHS is not perfect. Um, you know, I could mess around moving this back, trying to move this back and forth all afternoon. Um, so you've got to, you know, I'm calling it there. I got 0.2 of a millimeter, which really is not much at all. Um, you know, sort of out of parallel then with this edge. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna say that's good enough because what we're really after here, uh, uh, which is more critical, is having this rail absolutely parallel with the rail over top of there. Um, so the point two over five feet is not going to make any difference at all. So, okay, so what I'm going to do now is drill and tap each one of these holes, work my way up through and um, put screws in as I go. And then we'll turn our attention and do the same exactly identical process on the other side. So what you need to do to drill these through, uh, because you can only get a 5mm uh, bolt through here, because although there's a 6mm hole through, and the countersink uh, hole is about 8mm, uh, um, this is a 6mm which actually fits in the hole down there, but the head doesn't fit. So I'm using a five millimeter. So what you need to do is get a six millimeter drill, just start for about half a millimeter. So you get yourself like a, a center mark, a start. So then you can put the four millimeter in and drill through because that's the tapping size for the five millimeter. Um, just a little tip, otherwise you can't, you know, this will wander off all over the place. And you need to drill this in place. I'm just putting one clamp on the back here, just to hold it in place. I don't want to knock it off. Okay, uh, because I need this to be freely move, so as when I put the bearings on here and lock all this up, I can move the gantry all the way forward and use the gantry itself as a gauge to put this in the correct place in relation to the one the other side. And then you know drill and tap and screw in this end and then take it all take the gantry all the way up here and do the same process here so I know that then this rail is exactly in parallel with that rail there. Now these are very easy to put on. Just gotta be a little careful. Um, just uh, line this up with the top of the rail, like this, and just slide it on. Easy as that. Okay, now I've got the front of this anchored, and I know it's exactly parallel, the front is parallel with, with that one. I can take the clamp off the back, so this is free to move, relative, and now I'm going to push this back um, probably about um, halfway, uh, and I'll put one in about halfway down. 
There like that. And so I'll move this down. That's far enough. And we'll put a bolt in here, then we'll put all the bolts in, drill and tap them in all the holes in between. Okay. Well, basically the main structure of the gantry and the y-axis is finished and that basically is the most difficult part uh, the the other axes are not not as complex they're really not as complex as as this and this really isn't that complex if you sort of work methodically, take a check to see whether one uh, one side is perfectly true, and f you've got a flat surface to work off, you work off that flat surface, and then line everything up from that, which is what you see me do during this video. So that the next video will be. Uh, building the x-axis uh, still undecided whether I'm going to run the screw on the front here or on the top I'm sort of leaning towards running the screw on the top um, I haven't made one like that before um, but I think I'd like to uh, it's, it may be slightly easier so uh, I'll, I'll have a look at it over the next few days and uh, see what I'm going to do there. But um, yeah, good, very happy. Uh, you know, it sort of moves very, very nicely there. I've got to put grease nipples in and, and grease it all up. Um, but. Everything's going very well. And if you've liked this video, please like and subscribe. All the drawings for the MIDI, the little 3018, and the um, lathe over there um, are on Patreon. Uh, and they will be, all the drawings will be on Patreon. Uh, in fact, I've already posted up the list of parts and what I paid and where I, what vendor I got them from, um, which would probably be a big help to you. So they're on, all already up on Patreon. Uh, I plan this weekend to have the design for the chassis up on Patreon. Um, but I, I like to build it first. I'll build each section first uh, before I make sure that I'm happy with it um, then I'll do the drawing and then I'll put it up on Patreon if that's the the way I work um, so and it, you know if you're not building a machine yourself and if you'd like to support the channel um, you could think of becoming a patron uh, the Patreon information is below this video, in just in the video description area, and uh, it, you know it's the patrons that uh, keep the channel going, and uh, allows me to you know do things like this. So, thank you for watching the video, and uh, you could pass it on to your mates as well. That's another way the channel grows. And uh, I'll see you in about four or five days' time for the next thrilling installment of the Maxi CNC Rotor build where we'll be building uh, up more of the gantry, in this case the X-axis. So it's bye for now.